The next location I have in mind, which we're going to visit in today's video, is a place called Antipolo Bee House. And I believe it's a cafe. And speaking to uh, Mehdi, he tells me the coffee there is really nicely brewed. So we're going to head over there now. They're selling crabs. All right, we're gonna take a left here and then go up the mountain. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Wow, look at these winding roads. Full of greenery, old bricks, smooth tarmac roads. Ah! Oh. Can't get any better than this. And it's a cool day to do all of this on. All right, I need to take a right somewhere along here. Is it up here? I think it's up here, yes. I've got Beverly Hills on the left. Whoa, private area, is it? Hello. I'm trying to get to uh, B House Antipolo. B House Antipolo, is there a main direction? Okay, I see. We pay an entrance fee of 20 pesos at this store. Hello, sir, how are you? Thank you. Sorry? 20 pesos. 20 pesos, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. See you. Looks like this is a townhouse area. According to Google, the Antipolo B house is located at the end of this street. Look at this house on the right here. Yeah. It's like a palace. Stunning. Chalk white. We're gonna still keep going. I've got to be careful to here though, because uh, there are a lot of leaves on the ground which will make the road very slippery. Modulate the brakes, again. gently, gently downhill we go. Control the speed. Don't let the speed build up. Wait, is, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I just missed it. Where those two girls were stationed over there is where we got to go. Hello, how are you? Building a house? Nice. Hello. Hello, Paul. Uh, so if I want to go down to the Antipolo B house, do I go that Antipolo direction? Antipolo B, oh, sorry, Antipolo B house is a private residence. Private residence. Oh, I thought it was a cafe. Cafe, borrow cafe. Borrow cafe, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, okay, so you can park here, sir. Oh, okay. Right side, underground. Do you have a reservation? Do you need one? One person, huh? Yeah, one person. One box walk in. I parked a motorbike there, and uh, we got to go to the Borough Cafe, which is actually different from the Bee House. So the Bee House apparently is a private residency. Oh, I think that's it over there. Looks really nice. But the cafe in which I believe belongs to the bee house is in this direction. I'm not sure. Let's go down here. It's 96 steps down and up. Yeah, I'm not walking down that way because that looks really dangerous. So we'll take the steps. I do hear the gushing sound of a stream at the bottom of these steps. I ought to hold the handrail here because it's very steep. Oh, look. Red soil, interesting. So we gotta pass along these steps here, to which I'm avoiding on stepping the soil just in case it's wet and damp. What the hell? <laughs> what a surprise. It's like an underground bunker. Look at this. 
It's literally completely concealed as you're coming down here. I did not expect this whatsoever. This is crazy. Whoa. I'm gobsmacked. <laughs> this is amazing. A table for one, but it's a table for like 10 people. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry. I've got to say, in terms of presentation wise, this is one of the most fanciest and beautiful restaurants and cafes I've been to, possibly in Manila and the surrounding area. And I love that it's almost got this underground feel and it's right by the stream and lots of greenery and plants. Oh, it's beautiful. And the pendant warm lights that light up this area gives it a very cozy vibe. It's fairly busy here. The portion by the windows is all taken up. We've got a family here, a few couples over there on the individual tables. And this burrow features these gigantic windows. Look at them. But the sound of the gushing water that we heard earlier is from this stream here. It's actually fairly close to the restaurant, look. There is an outdoor area here too, which actually feels a lot cooler. I actually do want to come and sit out here because there's less people. This area maybe once did have windows, but uh, they no longer exist anymore. But the window frames are still there. What an amazing area to come grab a snack, have some coffee, a bit of food by yourself, with friends, with family. And it's a good thing I came now because they're closing up in 40 minutes. Wait, there's a pathway down here. Can we actually get to the stream? Oh my God, we can. Look at this. We can go down. All right, we've got to be careful because it might be slippery. God, this is incredible. Oh, wow. Wait, there's people here already. Hello, did you go for a swim? Did you swim? Your hair's wet. Where, where are you going? You, you come to the cafe, yeah? No. No? You're just walking. I don't know what their objective is. I wonder if they're actually looking for something specific or whether they take this route quite frequently. Take a look at this water. Oh, yeah. What type of rock is this? It's really pronounced. It's the type of rock that I would see on Land's End in the UK. You can see vortices being formed based on the way in which the water's flowing over the rocks in the stream. It's quite interesting to watch. And yeah, this is what gives a cafe. It's pretty cool air. This is amazing. I almost feel like I'm in a game. It's so pretty. I think my cold brew black coffee should be ready by now. So let's go and taste it. They do have hammocks, which I believe ah, are not functional. They're just only for display. Because I saw that chain and that looks like some pretty heavy duty chain. Oh, it's not ready yet. So let's take a look at their menu quickly. It looks like they do salads, all day breakfast here vegan options, beverages, desserts. Over there we got a bit of cake, to which I can see cheesecake and ube cake. So what I used to like to do when I was traveling around Europe was I would order up a latte and get a cheesecake with it. 
and this was maybe around about September so in Europe it gets pretty cold and I was in Poland and the two just went so well and I want to get a cheesecake from here and I've done just that I've gone ahead and ordered up a cheesecake that's good cheesecake so sweet it actually has a hint of lemon in there as well, so it's got a bit of a sour kick. Okay folks, I've finished up with my cheesecake and black coffee and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Honestly, if you're in Manila and you're looking for a cafe somewhere in the mountains, in the wilderness, this place definitely has to go on your list of places to visit. I've not tried the food here, but the dessert and coffee was great. And the scenery and the layout of this restaurant and cafe just makes it completely unique. I'm going to head to another location. It's going to be the last location in today's video, and it's known as the Mystical Cave. And so we're gonna head there now.